back in YouTube. We are on free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 53. So finding 53, we're going to learn about local scope and functions. So variables which are declared within a function as well as the function parameters as in the arguments that could be passed in a function have local scope. That means they're only visible within that function. Okay. So for example, in the my test function here, you can see this is the code block of the function. We have a const, so a new variable called a loc, and it's equal to foo. We can council log that and it will work. So my test here, that's what actually runs the my test function, which then executes this code, which then allows it to council log. But then down here, we're trying to council log loc or outside of the scope of this function. So you can see here it says uh, the function call, this, will display the string foo in console because we're saying loc equals foo, console log loc. That works. The console log loc outside, so this, this bottom line here, will throw an error as loc is not defined outside of the function. So we're, we can access it here, fine, because again, we're within the function and it's declared within the function, but we cannot access it outside the function. So for this challenge, it says the editor has two console logs to help you see what's happening. Check the console as you code to see how it changes. Declare a local variable, my var, inside my local scope and run the tests. Okay, so we want a variable. Let's just make this a little easier to see. So inside my local scope, this is the code block that will execute when this function is called, which it is being called, we want a variable called myVar. And we can set that to whatever. Hello, reboot. So now you can see in the console we have inside local scope, hello, reboot, our variable, prints. And that's because we have console log inside local scope and the variable. So inside a little scope, the variable. So that's where that's coming from. And then outside the function, outside the scope, we have another console log saying outside local scope, my var, trying to access our variable, which is inside our function. It does not have the scope to access. So you can see we get a reference error. My var is not defined. And that's why, because it is outside the scope of this this council log statement. So if we run the test, as you can see, that passes. And it's basically just trying to show you and teach you that you have to be careful where you place variables and how you, you label them. A uh, better example of that was in the last uh, challenge because you, know, you can limit yourself to not being able to access something or you could be giving yourself access to something that may cause you problems in the future. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next challenge.